Hi guys, so I'm sure by now you know how much I love orcs. Um, nice, big, chunky, outlandish weapons, never take themselves seriously, and yeah, they're always such a joy to paint because, well, you can paint them however you want, whatever colours. So I am quite lucky that generally I do get a lot of miniatures sent to me, uh, but I do occasionally venture out and try and source some, and well, I pay for them. I know, shocker. Um, yeah, obviously my mini factory is one of my preferred places to sort of uh, go for, well, just amazing sculpts of anything you can think of, really. Uh, as you can see, you type in orcs and there's a whole plethora that turn up. Uh, but this chap caught my eye. Um, not so much just for the actual chap himself, but I really love the look of the base he was on. Which sounds quite sad, but there you go. Yeah, the base he's on kind of caught my attention more than anything. Obviously he's got a couple of big choppers as well, and that can help. I will leave a link down below to where you can get this lovely chap, and obviously for just $1.80, I think it's a bit of a bargain. So yeah, downloaded this dude, and I'm going to print him out on what is probably now my favourite printer, the Uniformation GK2. And I do like to try out a variety of different resins. So I was recently sent this one by Syria. Uh, it's an ABS resin, which, um, yeah, it's going to help with the miniature, as in it's not going to be as brittle. So the ABS hopefully means when I drop these things, they will bounce a little bit. Not that I generally drop miniatures, but, you know, things happen. So, with a push of a few buttons, a couple of hours later, and, yeah, out pops this lovely looking little chap. I say, I love the fact that he's on a base, which is just really nice. Um, and, yeah, two really beefy weapons that seem to be, well, alive. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this chap, um, yeah, his head. His head seems too small. Um, yeah, too small, and there wasn't a whole lot of definition in it. Whereas, a good old Warhammer orcs, well... These are the kind of chaps that got me, uh, well, into this channel, really. And the fact I just love how orcs look. Um, and as I say, they never, they don't look serious. Uh, they can look a bit mean, aggressive, but just generally, uh, yeah, a whole bag of fun. So we'll click with a little head chop there, primed in black. And then we're ready to clap shop this guy. Yep, you heard me, clap shop. Only because I'm getting bored now of saying shop clap. Slap chop? Bit bop? Ah, uh, who knows. Um, yeah, my favourite painting technique, which uh, I think a lot of us do enjoy and love because it is, it's so simple and easy and it's a great thing to start for, well, for noobs or anyone getting back into painting. Um, yeah, the good old uh, chap slop is the way to go. Uh, and as we all know, it's just a case of dry brushing in white and then you get this. Um, so say, this guy has got a lot of detail in him. It was just his head, I think, was lacking. Uh, so yeah, my favourite green. Um, generally, I do use the Army Painter greens. Uh, but yeah, my favourite green of all time has got to be Plague Bearer's Flesh. Uh, unfortunately, I ran out of it quite some time ago. Uh, and when I normally get stuff from, um, yeah, they didn't have it in. So I've been waiting well, probably a good couple of months now to get this paint back in. I know I could have gone elsewhere. Uh, but I always get uh, a lot of my stuff from Chaos Cards. Um, and that's where I got the green from. So, yeah, painting, uh, yeah, it couldn't be any simpler, could it, guys? You, you've seen me do this millions of times now. Uh, well, not quite millions of times, but it probably feels that way. Um, yeah, it's like painting by numbers. Once you've done the, uh, the priming in black and the dry brushing, it is just a case of, yeah, wherever you want the paint to go, one coat over, and typically you are done. So this is where I am now using the Army Painter Speed Paint, and I'm using, well, Pallid Bone over what, say, his weapons, they are beefy choppers and they do look like they're possibly alive because obviously they've got an eye and teeth so yeah, I thought Pallid Bone would work well for, uh, yes, his mighty weapons and I guess sometimes the hardest thing for me when painting is, well, which colours to actually use um, as I say, generally I use the Army Painter Speed Paints and they do have a rather large collection um, I'm not sure the total numbers, it's like 90 90 different paints, uh, the speed paint range. Uh, yeah, good old memory man that I am. I haven't got a clue. Um, all I know is I've got a lot of the paints sitting in front of me. Uh, and yeah, sometimes which paint or which colour to use is the toughest part about painting. Uh, because obviously that's what painting bit certainly isn't. Although I do sometimes still forget now uh, to video myself painting. As I say, I really do enjoy and love painting. And I'm pretty much doing it every day. Um, just because I do find it very relaxing, uh, very enjoyable, uh, and obviously the fact that I can print out little miniatures at home and paint them. Um, yeah, I really am a big kid in a toy shop, which just happens to be, well, my flat where I can just print out whatever I want, which is just awesome. 
Oh yeah, so guys, um, I know generally I kind of release videos, well, higgledy piggledy and all over the place. Um, I am going to try and get back into what I used to do <laughs> probably about a year or so ago, uh, and that's try and publish videos on the same day at the same time. So I'm going to try out for the next, well, the next sort of three, four weeks at least, uh, to do a video every Monday, and it's going to be released at 8 p.m. UK time, so GMT, UCT time. Um, yeah, I'm obviously going to do videos on other days as well, just because, say, I, I've got a lot of projects on the go, uh, because I like to be doing, well, I like to be busy, because, say, I, I absolutely love what I do. Uh, but, yeah, so every Monday there will be a video 8 p.m., uh, and if you guys can be sort of there to watch it within the first hour, um, as I say, YouTube and its analytics and its algorithms, quite a weird sort of wonderful uh, sort of thing it does. Um, but it does seem to reward people where they get quite a few views from their subscribers in the first hour. So that's again why I'm mentioning I'm going to do a video every Monday, 8pm. And if you guys can watch it within that first hour, um, yeah, let's see if YouTube is going to like that or not. Anyway, enough of that waffling. <laughs> let's get back to painting, even though, yeah, I can't help waffle. Because um, obviously, again, that's why I always say, obviously, you can see what I'm doing in the video. I'm painting black. <laughs> um, yeah, the black. I really do enjoy the black, actually. Um, the Army Paint, the Speed Paint Black does dry really well. Uh, it certainly has lighter areas and darker areas, which is just great. Uh, in general, I've, I've always loved all the browns. Uh, I'm using an orange here. I do say, or I have said quite a lot in the past, um, I would like a more, well, a more brighter orangey orange. Um, but I think for this dude and his kind of, well, I don't want to call it a skirt, but it, it kind of is. Uh, yeah, this sort of like darker looking orange will work uh, will work good for that. Uh, but again, so this is what I do. I love painting orcs because you can, well, there's no right or wrong sort of colours to use. Um, the more vibrant you go, the more outlandish you go, generally the better. Whereas you get the good old boring space marines and yeah, you're kind of looking at what, blue, red? <laughs> um, yeah, orcs, I love orcs. So not surprisingly, the good old chip shop painting technique really didn't take long to get this dude, uh, well, to a standard that I was very happy with. Um, yeah, going to leave the, obviously, the stony base that he's standing on, well, looking like a stony base. And then using my good old mix of about four different sort of fake grasses, some little bits of cork and stone. Uh, yeah, just going to put a few of these here and there, just to sort of break up all that stony look. Uh, and yeah, that's him, well, that's him pretty much done. And yeah, love him. Um, so this guy is obviously just a little bit of an ornament to go on my desk, as opposed to being one that I'm going to play with. But um, yeah, absolutely love the way he looks and how he came out. And uh, I say for the times sort of painting him, uh, which again, I enjoyed every minute of painting him. Um, and yet the results are just, well, I am super happy. And I'm also very happy with the resin. As yeah, this miniature with the old ABS um, resin from Syria... Uh, yeah, it's definitely got a bit of flex to it, which is really good because it means then if I do drop it, um, yeah, it's not going to sort of like snap off like the well the old resins do. So yeah, guys, there's a link down below to Syria Tech and their resin, and also a um, a discount code of mine you can use to get five percent off, which is uh, pretty good. So this company only sent me the resin; they didn't pay me or sponsor me to do anything. So anything I am saying, guys, as always, are well my own words. Uh, my own thoughts and feelings on stuff. As yet, yeah, as obviously I love trying out new 3D printers, uh, but I think as importantly as trying out printers, um, yeah, the resin, because that makes a big difference to, well, the feel and how well the miniatures come out, as well as obviously how well they survive when you do drop them. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to leave comments, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on the bell, and as I say, I will be doing a video every Monday now, 8 p.m. UK time. Big shout out and thank you to my lovely patrons and Chaos Cards and the Colourforge for helping support the channel every month. There's another video on the screen guys, give that a click. You all take care, bye for now.